Ladies and gentlemen, it's a case of racial profiling <clears throat> and probably some of the most stupid employees that work for AMC in the world. Now, this man went to a movie theater, paid for his ticket, and all of a sudden, the AMC employees claim he didn't pay for his ticket and sent the security guard in and then the police came. I realize you see a lot of people in the public, but this could have easily been cleared up. Don't you keep record of all the tickets that are sold? And also, what about surveillance? AMC don't have surveillance. Because some stupid employee couldn't remember whether this man bought a ticket or not, all of this happened. I have to give it to y'all. One thing, you are consistent in hell, as hell. It's always consistently a black man that you go after. <laughs> if nothing else, you're very consistent about that. AMC manager calls police on black man after wrongfully accusing him of sneaking into the theater. And we saw these stories all last year, y'all. We're in 2019, and these folks are still doing the same damn thing. They have not changed in centuries. Oh, well, he, he stole something. I tell you what, everybody is not out here trying to steal. Some people actually work for a living and pay for things out of their hard earned money. I know that's a hard concept for you to follow, but give it a try. An Arizona man is considering legal action. No, he really need to take legal action for real. After he was accused of sneaking into a movie theater by a manager who later called police, Larry Sheldon said he left a showing of Captain Marvel for a bathroom break and to get a refill of his soda. A manager approached him as he attempted to walk back to his seat. I'm walking back to my seat with my cup when a manager runs up and said, I entered the building through an exit door. Okay, I would have made him prove that on surveillance. I would have made him prove it. Sheldon told Yahoo Style, he was very nasty with me and told me to leave. Sheldon brushed him off and told the manager to check the security cameras if he wants proof. The 40 year old made it back to his seat, but it wasn't long before the manager approached him again with several police officers. Oh my. <sighs> You know, this is what they do instead of solving real crimes, y'all. It wasn't necessary for several police officers to come. You know why they came like that? Black man, they heard black man. Faced with a volatile situation, Sheldon began to film the encounter. These guys, you said, didn't have a ticket, an officer told Sheldon after they walked out of the auditorium. Sir, you walked in an exit door and my staff warned me they did not <clears throat> sell you a ticket. You see how stupid they were? They did sell him a ticket. See, this goes back to what I told you before. White people are actually very bad at identifying black people. This is why the prison system is filled 
with people that shouldn't even be there. Now, this man went in through the front, bought his ticket, got a drink, and went into the theater. And because he left out of there to go to the bathroom and refill his drink, they didn't remember they sold him a ticket. Now, if they were good eyewitnesses and had good memories, they would have remembered selling that man a ticket, but they didn't. And when you look at the footage, the movie theater is not even crowded. But they can't, his employees could not remember they sold him a ticket. But these are the people that are on juries and eyewitnesses. And you see how bad they screw up. Okay. I'm sure this is what the manager talking all kinds of shit. Nobody scanned your ticket, the manager stated, talking all kinds of shit. And, and, and the worst part is he's wrong. Sheldon asked a police officer to hold his drink and pulled out a small ticket stop. The conflict didn't end there. Yeah, oh yes. This is a ticket that does look like it was purchased. This is the manager talking, okay? But you should have shown me the ticket. You walked in from the exit door, the manager said. See, the manager don't want to be wrong. He already showed you the ticket stuff. It, it doesn't matter what door he came in or out of. He paid for that ticket. See, he's trying to use, oh, well, you know, you went, you came in that exit door. He still paid for that ticket. He still paid for the ticket. And when people walk in the theater, do you have signs that say they are not supposed to use the exit doors? I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can get this guy. You see, after he showed him the ticket, he still went on and on about the exit door. He didn't want to be wrong, but he was wrong. Sheldon told the manager he was embarrassed and asked for a refund, but the manager refused. You're not getting a refund, the manager said. You violated our code of conduct by turning a flashlight on in the theater. You see how he's going to all these other things? First, he said he didn't buy a ticket. Then he said he walked in from an exit door. Now he's saying he shined a flashlight in the theater. See, he don't want to be wrong, but he is wrong. That's why he keeps jumping to all these different things. Sheldon said he didn't show the stub because of how the manager approached him. And the manager was rude. I watched the video. He was extremely rude. AMC needs to train their people like they want to be treated, he told AZ Central. If you treat people like you want to be treated, this would have never happened. Now I have the shame of people who were in the theater. If they see me out, I'm going to be the guy who the police took out of the theater, who snuck in there in their minds because they don't know what really happened. Sheldon posted an exchange of his Facebook page, which has been viewed more than 570,000 times. Wow. The police left without uh, conducting any arrest and determined there were no laws broken. An AMC corporate spokesperson apologized in a statement, but your manager should really be let go. And the stupid employees where he paid for his ticket and totally had a bout of amnesia that he paid for that ticket. AMC deeply regrets that this avoidable situation, it read, based on our initial investigation, including interviews 
with the theater staff and our outreach to the guests. This situation could have been handled differently to minimize frustration. And we've offered our sincere apology to Mr. Sheldon. Sheldon said he was offered free movie tickets and snack vouchers, but it isn't enough. He is looking to pursue legal action against the company, and he should. Believe me, he's got a leg to stand on. This is really a terrible situation for AMC. But I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Let's see if I can get. Okay, I think this is a screenshot. It looks like you can play a video, but you can't. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. But nevertheless, it doesn't change the nature of the story. He was accused of stealing and trying to sneak into the, the theater. And this 40-year-old man paid for the ticket fair and square and still got accused of stealing. And this is something that happens in stores. Remember um, some of the stories that came out of Black people would go in stores to shop and they swore up and down. You stole one woman, they stripped her down. And she never stole anything, but she got accused by store employees of stealing. And the stories go on and on and on and on. We're always stealing. We're always trying to get over. We're always doing this. We're always doing that. And it is not happening at the magnitude that we're being accused of. Ladies and gentlemen, they are inflating this shit big time. And they know it. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> This is just a disgrace. It really is. And we get tired of this happening over and over to us. But this is the way they have decided to run America, y'all. They run it with a persecution complex and always accusing us of things when we've done nothing. Let me see if this one will play. Nicholas Joseph Fury, Agent of Shield. You a sucker. Nicholas Joseph Fury, with three names. Everybody My knows. police is here because the staff here just came up to me out the blue from coming to the bathroom and saying that I didn't pay and didn't have a ticket. So what? So so what you guys had to say to me now? So so what's the deal? These guys said you didn't buy a ticket. You have a ticket. You have ask a ticket. him. Ask him why he said that. I don't know why he said that. Why, why you say I didn't have a ticket? Sir, you walked to the exit door, and my staff warned me that they did not sell you a ticket. That you didn't get your ticket. So that, that's that's time. what you're saying now, right? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You're 100 percent sure of that. I'm sure. Nobody's saying. All all, all the staff is 100 percent sure of that. All the staff is 100 percent sure of that, right? Did you hold this? Oh, yeah, I'll put it. Yeah, where, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I don't need to take it, so. Now I want to see the manager now. I am the manager, sir. Uh, yes, who's, who's this, your boss? This is a ticket that was. Who, who is, who is who's your boss? It does look like it was purchased. Who is your boss? No. No, uh, no. what does that ticket say on there, sir? What does it say? It was indeed, but you should have shown me the ticket. When no, I said you just purchase. came up me out the blue. He he automatically yeah, he assumed. Walked in the exit door. I didn't walk in the exit door. I went to the bathroom and got a refill. Right, my staff said they had not seen you. They saw you walk in the exit door, so I, I just asked you for a ticket. So they, and then you, you know how mad I am right now? You know how embarrassed this is? You know how embarrassed this is? And I told him, I said, go check the videotape, then come back to me. Man, this is embarrassing for somebody to come up to me out the blue. This is embarrassing, man. This is embarrassing. I said, and now you produce a ticket talking about how embarrassing. But I told him to go check. It's in, what is it? Somebody come up to you out the blue. 
I said, get out of here. You came out. You came out. I said, no, I didn't. I said, quit playing. I said, get out of here. Quit playing with me, man. Man, it don't matter if I say, I said, go take the tape. You should be, you should be what? Shouldn't they be a hundred percent sure if they blame somebody? Shouldn't that be a hundred percent? I'm just saying. So shouldn't you be a hundred percent? Listen, look, hear me out for a second. A couple of options. It's private property. If they want you to stay and watch a movie, you're more than welcome. It's up to them. If they want to leave, that's up to them. If you want a refund, that's up to them. We're out of it. This is a civil matter between you and them, not us. There's no crime that we can determine. Who's your boss, committed. man? So, I want to talk to your boss. Tony Fletcher, I'll give you a card. Give you me a card, card, man. You see, you see, you see how this is, man? You see this? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And I want a refund. No, we're not going to be a refund. You violated our code of conduct. You turn your flashlight on the theater and set on the back. You see this now, man? You see this, man? I'm calling the news right now, and I'm sending them this tape right now, okay? You're going to look like an idiot. And they kicked me out. Don't want to give me a refund. You saw the ticket that I have. Give me all my ticket stuff. This is the ticket stuff that proved that I paid to get in here. You know, ladies and gentlemen, accusing black people over a bunch of nothing is at an all time high in America. And it just goes to prove that we are a targeted group in a rigged up system. And they intended the system to run this way, to try to keep us down, keep us at bay, keep us the underclass, keep us as being, oh, you're the criminal. Oh, you're lazy. Oh, you low IQ. You can trace all that crap y'all say back in freaking history. Try to be original already. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.